Hi guys, I'm Abby and this is my channel. Today I will be going over my favorite cookbooks. I have my top five right here and I will be going over what they are and kind of my favorite recipes from them. Um, I have a lot of cookbooks. Uh, I have most of them stored up here. Uh, they've kind of fallen over, but I have a good 10 to 15 cookbooks. Um, I've had more and less. I've used some for my mom before, uh, but these are the ones I kind of turn to the most lately and the recipes I get from them. So the first cookbook I'm going to mention is the Maria Menounos Every Girl's Cooking Guide to Cooking. Um, I've had this one probably the longest of what, most of my cookbooks. I think I got this in college or right after college. Um, I just, I wanted a cookbook. I've made many recipes from this. Uh, all of them have been really good, pretty simple. There's one in here, uh, the pesto pasta that I've made many times. Many people have asked for the recipe after I made it. Um, it's one of my favorites from this book, but there's also a sweet potato kale uh, mix that is really great. So there's a lot of really easy, great recipes in this book. I recommend it if you're just starting out cooking. It's pretty easy to follow. I don't, I don't know why I have her book. I, I don't watch her show. I think she's a host on a show. Um, but I think I got it as a gift or I just picked it out because I like the recipes in it when I looked at it. And I think my mom bought it for me. But um, I didn't get it for the person on the front. I actually don't exactly know what she does. <laughs> but she has great recipes and um they're pretty easy and pretty good to make and it's been one of my most used cookbooks um in my collection my next cookbook i own multiple of her cookbooks she has multiple out um i've used my mom's because she has a couple that i don't own but this one is her original cookbook. It's by Ree Jarman. It's the Pioneer Woman Cooks. Um, there are so many great recipes in here. I've cooked many of them. They're very simple to follow. I have, I think, I think I own two or three other of her cookbooks. And my mom owns maybe one or two that I don't own. Uh, she has a lot of them out. All all of them i've had great recipes from and enjoyed cooking it also nicely tells like a little story of her story and of her family um i've watched her show a couple times on food network and i think uh it's just a great cookbook for anyone to have um especially i really like making her desserts i think they're really good um but even before I owned these or was starting to cook a lot by myself, my mom made recipes out of this and I would ask for them or my family would ask for them. Um, so her and her recipes are kind of a favorite within my family, just not just me. Um, but out of the, all the ones I own, this one I probably reach for the most um, to make things. And that's one of my most used cookbooks. The next one um, is also by a person on TV. I haven't used this cookbook as much, but the one, the recipes I have made from it, I've really enjoyed it. Um, I bought it for other people, whether they asked for it or not. Um, and that's Magnolia Table by Joanna Gaines. Um, I've made a couple things in here. As I said, I haven't had much time to use it as much, um, but they were really good and pretty simple to make. Um, it also tells about her story. Uh, she lives just like an hour or two south of me. I live in Dallas. She lives in Waco. Um, I've been down there a couple times to, you know, walk around our shop and it's amazing what, how they've helped Waco grow and, uh, become a really cool town. And I also really enjoy her show. I've watched many episodes on HGTV, but, um, I'm really glad she came out with cookbook cause I really enjoy her recipes and think it's a great if you like the show and like her um you also enjoy this cookbook and the recipes she adds in it the next cookbooks i gonna show this one first um this one i recently got at a sale from hasbro's books which is a used bookstore here um and this is a grocery store cookbook or the grocery store put out a cookbook 
Um, they also offer cooking classes that I've gone to a lot. So these are recipes from their cooking classes and it is uh, the 20th anniversary of the supermarket. It's Central Market, it's a Texas-based grocery. I love going there. You know, like I said, I've been to cooking classes there um, that I've really enjoyed. Uh, it's great to learn traditional things or my mom's taken a knife class just on knife skills. So it's just cooking in general. And this is their 20th anniversary cookbook. There's a lot of things in here um, that I've seen from their cooking classes, either reading about it online or doing them myself. Also, there's other ones in here that I really wanted to make. And I think this was only like $3 when I found it at the sale. Uh, I think everything at the sale was $3 or less. And I found this and I thought it was a gem and I've used it. There's a couple things I haven't been able to get to to making that I really want to. One of the reasons I picked up this uh, cookbook a while back. Um, so eventually I want to get to them, but they're also very simple. And I know I can find these things at their supermarket, even if they're a little more exotic recipe, um, cause there are two of them nearby me. You know, it is a Texas based grocery, but um, if you think you have a very similar type of grocery around you, I would definitely recommend picking this up. Uh, you probably find it very easily online. And they have great recipes that are very easy. You know, they're good because they're used in their cooking classes. Um, and I've really enjoyed having this. And it's and it's a really pretty cookbook, I think. Not that you should judge a cookbook by its cover, but this one's really nice. <laughs> and the last uh, cookbook I use is not necessarily for meals or anything. It's uh, Bread Illustrated, and it's by America's Test Kitchen which I follow uh, Test Kitchen on Instagram, which I really enjoy. They test more than just food recipes. They also test like equipment. Um, I bought certain equipment off of the, their recommendations from their test. They have videos about their process of going through their testing. And so this book is all about bread and different doughs and such. And it's been really helpful. Um, as I try to learn more about making dough. And what I also like about this cookbook is it has more kind of in-depth of the science of cooking bread because it can be pretty difficult at times. Um, this will tell you why the recipe works, what happens if you do something a little different and why it would or wouldn't work. Um, so there's a lot of useful information besides recipes in um, this cookbook. And I want to try to get some more of their books because uh, I do like that aspect. It really helps when I want to experiment with my own recipes instead of going straight from the cookbook. I can use the basis recipes from any of these, but this one especially because it tells me what happens if I'm going to do something a little different. Um, or I can sort of predict it from the information they give me. Uh, so when I do like to experiment with food, which is kind of often now, um, this is really helpful just to learn to, and know about the sciences of the food and how it's going to turn out if I do a certain thing. So this cookbook has been really great more than just learning how to cook one certain thing but learning how to take that basis and grow with it and do whatever I want with it. Um, so I really hope to get more of their cookbooks because I do like the format of them. If you are wanting to learn basics maybe expand on your own recipes. I would suggest kind of like cookbooks like this where they give you a lot of the science of cooking or baking um, and grow on them. So those are my top five cookbooks. You can see them right here. Um, these are kind of the ones I grab the most when I want to actually make a recipe from a cookbook or if I'm looking for a certain thing to base a recipe off of, I'll look at their recipes and kind of adjust them from there. Um, but I will have these linked below and maybe some other of my favorite cookbooks that I own um, down there with them. If you have any of these cookbooks, uh, like this video or comment down below which ones you use, if you use a different one. If you have any suggestions of great cookbooks that uh, you think I might not have and that I need to check out, I would love to hear from you. I hope these cookbooks will inspire you to cook more and learn how to cook or bake or anything that you want to do. 
and then I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, if you want to be someone, why not be you? See y'all later. Bye.